Hey guys, Damien from Marketing Food Online. This video is gonna give you seven different types of foods that you can sell from a food truck. If you're looking for something that's different and unique and you wanna get in a different type of food business, a food truck may be what you're looking for. Hey guys, it's Damien. So we're gonna check out the top seven. I'm gonna give you seven types of foods that are actually the most popular type of food to produce and sell through a food truck. So the popularity of food trucks, of course, has grown over the past decade in tremendous, um, tremendous amount. And to put it, right, put it in the in the right context, if you're looking to open up a food business and you're not wanting to uh, invest a huge amount of money into a brick and mortar restaurant, which you can't really go anywhere with, uh, a food truck might be the route that you want to take. Now, I'm going to cover the top seven types of foods, and then what I'm going to do is a, is a series of videos to explain the startup costs, give you an idea of how much it starts to actually get a food truck up and running, uh, the type of equipment that you would need, and should you buy something that's already made or should you get a custom made food truck? There's a lot of dynamics to owning a food truck and operating one, so I'm gonna cover that in a handful of videos, but I wanna go over the top seven types of foods that are grown in popularity, and that may give you an idea that you have never thought of to help you get going. So, number one, it's the old fashioned traditional grilled cheese. Uh, the, the, the grilled cheese trucks are something that is unbelievably popular, mainly on the east and west coast and parts of the Midwest, but a lot of the uh, urban cities love grilled cheese, and there's such a variety and vast assortment of other products that you can actually put with it, uh, from tomato soups to uh, a variety of fresh made chips on, that are made within the food truck itself. The, the types of recipes and menus you can put together are literally endless, but if you build it around the grilled cheese uh, a sandwich itself, you would be surprised and shocked at how popular they can be. Now, of course, you can keep in mind that the, the portability, the, the mobility, of course, of the food truck is something that is its huge, its biggest asset because you have an opportunity to take it from one event to the next, and it's literally a restaurant on wheels giving you such a huge versatility as opposed to having just a brick and mortar restaurant. So the next up, next up we're going to talk about is the taco truck. Just if you could come up with a, a huge variety of variations for tacos and burritos and you're mixing ingredients which pretty much across the board are the same but it's when you create the combinations and you put them together that creates something that's literally endless when it comes to a menu uh, from tacos to quesadillas. Uh, using fresh ingredients, you can even create a menu around organically grown uh, produce and products that you can bring together in that taco, which sets it apart as well as, a, as opposed to just a traditional taco or burrito truck. So number three, of course, this is a no-brainer, the good old-fashioned American hamburger. Uh, the first thing to know is that uh, the food truck, uh, when it comes to hamburgers, there is, similar to the taco and the burrito, there is an endless amount of toppings and flavor profiles that you can bring together. Um, and, and with the popularity of hamburgers in general, uh, you can literally go to pretty much any type of event and offer a hamburger and you would have that appeal to the customers. In some cases, there are certain types of, of food trucks that can only go to certain types of venues because maybe the taste preferences or the profiles, the flavor profiles only appeal to a certain demographic or type of people, but in general, you can even go even into a vegan burger. You can offer both vegan and meat-based burgers and offer them to a, a variety of crowds within the same group of people. So the next one we have up is lobster. Now, this may sound a little odd, but to tell you the truth, all up and down the East Coast, a lot of times in the Northeast, uh, lobster food trucks are huge. Uh, there's one gentleman who actually started, he left his corporate job and started a lobster truck and in a matter of just a couple of years was having sales in excess of a million dollars out of his uh, lobster truck. Now, of course, the the expense for the lobster, the, the supplies and the menu um, uh, ingredients, of course, are a little on the higher end, but that is not a big deal when you consider the type of product it is. You simply mark it up and you create the price point to match what type of product that you're selling. So if you're doing a higher end food truck, there's a lot of, of, of people who are doing this as opposed to just uh, plain Jane type of food trucks with hot dogs and hamburgers. But if you're going to another level, you're taking it up to a, a notch where you're offering higher end ingredients, you simply bring in a higher end price point. And believe it or not, you'd be very surprised at how many people um, love that as, a, as, a, as an option as opposed to something that's just a traditional type of food. So now, of course, something that's huge and there's a big, 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 big variety to to create when it comes to flavor profiles is 
the the curd, the cheese curd. I don't know if you've actually heard of this before, but cheese curd trucks, food trucks that actually take cheese curds and normally you put it into a batter, some type of a beer batter or, or a seasoned flavored batter and it's deep fried and instantly given to the customer nice and hot and gooey. Um, I'm not sure of anybody who doesn't love melted gooey cheese, but the cheese curd trucks is, is something that can allow you to bring in a whole bunch of flavor profiles from something spicy, picante, or if it's something with jalapenos, or if it's something even uh, a sweet, sweet one version of cinnamon sugar that you can douse it with. There's a lot of other ways that you can also top it or drizzle certain sauces over the top to change the flavor profiles, but cheese curd is a huge one. So. The last couple that I've got is, of course, barbecue. Now, this is open for literally an enormous amount of flavor combinations, um, especially if you're creating your own type of sauces, marinades, and dry rubs, and you can create barbecue that is ultra, ultra unique because normally, uh, across the board, every barbecue truck is super unique because the operator is is really keen on creating profiles that are uh, that are original, that are from them. And it's not something that's just mass produced or bottled or uh, brought in from a store bought bottle, but are really unique with the flavor profiles and the way that you can present them is almost limitless as well. From breads to wraps, even burritos that are barbecued. Uh, there's Japanese barbecue. There is a huge variety, just depending upon how creative and how, how good your imagination is to come across with that. So lastly, it is going to be the sweet truck, the one that offers the dessert in the truck, and that is a cinnamon roll. Now, of course, everyone, I would imagine, has heard of Cinnabon, but there are food trucks that have taken the concept of like a Cinnabon to a whole other level, offering multitudes of other flavors that are brought into play when they create these cinnamon buns that are oversized. They're drizzling with um, powdered sugar and icings and frostings, but the profiles, that's the key. When you can create something with a different sweetness to it, then you can appeal to a much bigger audience. So pretty much like any other food truck that you have, the more creative, the more original, the more um, outside the box you can think of when it comes to offering different flavors, you can apply that to also sweet products. But the cinnamon bun on a cold day, trust me, served with a cup of coffee or hot chocolate, Cinnabon is hands down one of the uh, most profitable and lucrative uh, types of desserts that you can serve from a food truck. Because the other thing is, is that when you create them and you make them, they are very inexpensive in, in comparison to like a lobster truck or if you're looking at cheese curd, a truck that does that, or even a barbecue because you can get into ribs and baby back ribs, so that expense goes up. It raises. But cinnamon buns in general are traditionally just that dough that's baked in the oven. You've got some, ci some cinnamon and some type of flavored um, icing or frosting on the top, and those things are really ultra cheap, so you can create a very high margin product. So those are the top seven trucks that I would highly recommend you think about if you are looking to get into the food truck business and you're excited or you don't know much about it and you're kind of brainstorming what kind of food truck should I have. That is seven that are hugely popular from either East or West Coast. It doesn't make a difference. Um, across the U.S., these are the flavors or these are the types of foods that are being served the most from food trucks. So if the video helped you out, you guys enjoyed it, please do give me a big thumbs up. And as always, share my video and my channel with any friends or family who may be interested in the food business. And I thank you guys for taking your time and give me a big thumbs up. Thanks.